Good morning, baby. Hi. You and the mama. Violet. Hi, baby. Hi, guys. Violet slept until nine, which has never happened before. Paul's alarm for work actually went off, and I was like, where is she? We just got up. It's around 10.30. Uh, we were just kind of hanging out. I always, like, kind of hang out with Violet in um, the bed before I actually get up. We do for, like, you know, depends on the day. <laughs> but we are... Oh, that's really loud. Well, I wanted to right now just wrap Christmas presents. Paul's at work and um, I just really want to get that done with and then yeah I don't know what else is gonna happen. I think we're gonna watch a movie right now. All right I've decided that wrapping kids gifts is a nightmare. I'm generally not a terrible Christmas present or just present wrapper. I'm not great but it looks decent. But I just wrapped those presents for Violet, which are not like a square or a rectangle. I'm gonna have to go buy some bows just so I can feel good about myself because they are bad. <laughs> See, I mean, this, I just wrapped Kevin's present and I mean, it's not the best, but it's not terrible. I don't even want to show you guys Violet's presents. Those are really hard to wrap. If there's any tips you want to give me on wrapping, Kids presents that are not in like just a square box like this, please, please let me know. My living room exploded. Oh my gosh. So we had gotten uh, from Overstock a couple days ago, this new media center, which is actually really cool. And it comes with like an electronic fireplace. Since we can't have a real fireplace, we decided to do something that uh, we can do. So it's an electronic fireplace, but it ha it like lets off real heat, but it's supposed to be cool to the touch, I think, which will be good. But um, yeah, this is like a huge upgrade to the one that we had, which we just emptied out and had lots of DVDs that were never used. And I'm pretty sure cool to the touch is the wrong answer for that. What is the I'm right answer? I'm pretty sure it's just the space heater. I thought it said it was cool. To I don't know. Whatever. We'll see. Anyways. Paul just uh, spent two hours putting this together. If you ignore all the crap that's behind it, it looks great. <laughs> Paul is just finishing it up. He just put the backs on backwards and now they're on the right way. So before they were showing like the cardboard oh, no, plywood. Right oh, that one's not the right way? Oh. Well, I can't tell with the, the thing. I didn't even notice before. Oh, now I do. Yeah. <laughs> and then this one is pretty much done with everything today. She actually, I don't think I'll, I can't really show you because her tongue gets in the way, but her teeth cut. So I could, I can feel the tips of her teeth now. Yeah, you can't really tell, but that's why she's been super, super crabby all day. And I know that that's why, right? Your teeth is bothering you. I'm so happy they cut through though, because hopefully she won't be super fussy anymore. Although she's really not usually bad. This is an unusually fussy, fussy day. I had to hold her for like an hour while she slept because she wouldn't fall asleep in the mamaru and she was like not wanting to take a nap and we tried for a long time and that's okay though. I'm also making dinner. We had a pack of um, this marinated chicken that had to get used so I just did it on the cast iron. I didn't want to sous vide it because it would take too long and actually, this worked out fine because I used a meat thermometer in it so it wouldn't get overcooked. And then I just have this um, pasta that's garden pasta. So it has spinach and tomato in it that I'm going to have with the chicken that's cut up. I don't remember if I've shown you guys this pot or not, but I was really excited about it because the lid has, as you can see, these little holes. So you can lock the lid in place and then actually use it so that you can strain your pasta without having to put it in a colander. I love shit like this. You guys know that, but <laughs> this just makes it easier because it's one less thing to worry about. And then you don't have to worry about, you know, making a mess or I don't know. I was excited about it. Beautiful. And a really upset baby. Hi, it's okay. Look at that sweet ambiance. <laughs> that sweet, sweet ambiance. 
And I think, yeah, there's no heat right now. You can make, it like has a space heater, so it can let off heat, but it's like 70 something degrees. Oh no. Bebby. I guess, what? Oh yeah, it's way bedtime. Yeah, that's why. I had no idea what time it was. Baby Einstein slews the soul. Are you okay? I know you need to eat soon. It's late though, it's 8.30, but she can get up till nine. Yeah. So I don't know, just watching Baby Einstein. I just went to, ran to Costco to get the envelopes for this so I can mail them out and hopefully they'll get to everyone by Christmas time. Then I um, got Paul and I Starbucks because he put together this whole thing so I got him a peppermint mocha. I um, went there and it was kind of funny because like I go and I get to the window and then there was this girl in there that was like super excited to meet me and I'm 99% sure that the guy that was at the window said her name was Victoria. So it was nice to meet you, Victoria. Um, My name's not Victoria. I think it was, no. I, <laughs> I'm pretty, like she didn't say what her name was but the guy was like, oh yeah, Victoria was all excited. So I think it was. If it's not, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Um, and then I went to Costco, I got the envelopes and I got these peanut butter pretzels because I'm making something for Chelsea's graduation party. Uh, she's having her graduation party tomorrow and I'm pretty sure she's doing a bruschetta bar and they're gonna have a chocolate fountain. So I know my mom made cheesecake and brownies for the chocolate fountain. I think that they, I think they wanted me to cut up strips of pie to do like a little pie crust dip things. And then there's these cookies that my mom has made before that have pr uh, pretzels and potato chips and uh, milk chocolate chips in them and they kind of have like a shortbread consistency and you're supposed to dip them in chocolate so I figured those would be a nice thing to dip in the fountain. Costco only had sourdough pretzels, I wasn't really sure about that. <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> um, so I just got the peanut butter pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> because um, peanut butter is always good with that kind of stuff, like the salty sweet kind of thing. All right, so I think we need to feed Violet and put her to bed now because it's it's 8.30. It's pretty much past her bedtime. We just got this in the mail, which I had ordered. I know you can get those in the mall. I just am never at the mall, but I figured we should probably get a ornament for Violet that was like a first Christmas one and I thought this one was pretty cute. Just made the cookies for my sister. They're not like the prettiest cookies, I'll give them that. <laughs> um, but they're really good and like I said they had peanut butter pretzels and then potato chips in them and then you're supposed to dip them in chocolate, half in uh, white chocolate or butterscotch and then half in just milk chocolate but I'm not going to do that because they're going to go for Chelsea's chocolate fountain that she's getting. We are playing Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, which is on Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix. So this was originally just on PSP. And it's actually really cool because it's like Roxas' birth, or Roxas, it's like a prequel to Kingdom Hearts 2. And it's um, Roxas' story, whose real name is apparently Ven. It's New World. So this is Cinderella. And then we already went to Snow White. So this is what we're doing tonight, um, so we'll see you guys later.